Welcome to another video from Site Taker Mountain, Earthworks training videos. In this video, I want to cover something that seems to pass people up on the vertical ops offset tab. So at the top right here, where we've got our vertical offset tab, if you touch and hold and go into that by pushing and holding on that icon right there, you can come in here, and most people come in here and put just a normal vertical offset in. They change their design surface. Uh, put memories in, but down here at the bottom, there's kind of a hidden icon at the bottom. If you scroll down, you can see on the right side, this blue, there's an advanced options at the bottom. If you drop this bar down in here is a working surface and direction. This vertical right here is what most people leave all their offsets on, but there's a vertical and a perpendicular inside there. So let me back out of here. What I wanted to show you is in a scenario here where I've got the dozer up on a steep slope. At the very bottom here, I changed my bottom ribbon to show the ratio. So at this point, the dozer is sitting on the slope at a one and a half, almost a one and a half to one. In vertical offset at the very top here, if you leave this icon just vertical offset and go in here and let's put in a one foot minus. We'll hit apply at the bottom right. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my autos. So once the blade comes down, we'll get that down to zero. You can see with vertical offset, it's going to assume, if we look at my red carrot here, a vertical straight down, but not perpendicular. So I may go out here and start cutting this slope right here out of one foot minus and think that I'm cutting it to grade correctly. But what happens is if we go up here and go back into vertical offset now and go down to the bottom where advanced options are and drop this down and go from vertical to perpendicular, you can see how this changes right here. I'll go back to vertical and show you what the system, the software is looking for. Minus one feet vertically straight down isn't going to come out the same on that slope as what it would look like here in perpendicular. You can see that green changed right there. So now if we go out and I haven't changed the dozer at all, I haven't touched the blade. It's in the exact same spot that it was when it was zeroed out in vertical. This icon at the top right now shows a little bit different. It shows on an angle and not straight down. And at a 1 to 1.28 slope, something pretty steep, you can see down here on my cut fill left, I've got a cut of 3 tenths, and on my right side, a cut of 3 tenths now. So that's quite a bit of difference. I know most job sites don't really check slopes um, when it's just like a landscaping area, but in a scenario where you really, really have to cut those slopes correctly, this is something um, that will catch you between vertical offset and perpendicular. So leaving this where it is at cut of three and cut of three, I'm going to just simply go back into my vertical offset and I'll change this back to vertical. Without touching anything, you can see that now it's zeroed out. So the steeper the slope gets, the further that number is going to get off. If it's relatively flat, you know, maybe a three to one, four to one, those numbers aren't quite as drastic. But the steeper and steeper we get, the software doesn't understand the difference. So something to look out for. So thank you for watching this training video from Site Taker Mountain on vertical versus perpendicular offsets.